So I can leave right after I round on my patients. Yeah. I'm already eight uninterrupted hours. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, maybe this is not a good weekend. What did Lexi say about me? She didn't say anything. I did all the talking. Well, don't blame her. So what, you're friends with my sister now? I mean, you talked to the other Gray about me. Hmm. You know what I talked about with the other Gray? All the things this great won't let me say. You can say anything to me. I want to marry you. I want to have kids with you. I want to build this house. I want to settle down and grow old with you. I want to die when I'm 110 years old in your arms. I don't want 48 uninterrupted hours. I want a lifetime. I know you think I'm like the other man. You let him in and mm. breaks your heart again. But this thing more than fit. Do you see what happens? I say things like that. And you find the urge to run in the opposite direction. It's okay. I understand. I didn't. But now I do. I do. You're just getting started. And I've been doing this for a long time. Deep down, you're still an intern. And you're not ready. I'm not ready right now. But things could stay the way they are. Mm -hmm. And I can get ready. I'll get ready. Things can stay the way they are. We can still meet in the elevator, the on call room. And maybe you'll be ready. And I'll wait. I'll wait until you're ready. Okay, then. Yeah, but what if, what if while I'm waiting, I meet someone who is ready to give me what I want from you? What if you do?